So anyway, Friday, the practice uh, was held at the Ralph. 36,000 in attendance, uh, which is just terrific. Uh, like I said, wasn't there, but I heard a lot of great things. Now, in particular, the things I heard really seemed to double down on the things that I observed myself in just a couple of hours at practice on Thursday morning. The one thing that I think everybody is loving to talk about right now, and of course, we've been talking about it a lot in the past couple of weeks, but uh, you know, recently in particular, are the wide receivers. Gabriel Davis, like I said, he looks like a freak and he's playing like a freak. There is nobody right now who's got any questions surrounding Gabriel Davis. And I know that the hype going into this season surrounding him was tremendously high. And I was riding that hype train as, as high as anybody. But he really seems to be delivering uh, within practice here. I mean, he really seems to be stepping up into that role in a dominant way, looking fantastic. And he also looked great Friday night to lead uh, off of several practices in which he's looked great as well. Now, we heard it, we heard it uh, right out of the draft. We heard that Khalil Shakir could really be a steal in this draft. That's what we were told immediately. When the Bills took him, I was not really aware of what he could bring to the table, wasn't really a- aware of what he had done in college. But when I started to look into the pick, what you constantly were being told is, man, I mean, this guy could be a real steal of a pick. Sneaky good, fell. Bills could have really gotten a lot of value here. Two touchdowns in that scrimmage. And I saw him score a 45-yard touchdown in the Thursday practice. I, I, we've had debates on here about whether or not this Bills wide receiver room has longevity. I don't know, man. I mean, the guy, you just – now look at it now. You got Gabe Davis coming in, boom. And in, in, a, in a handful of practices here, you got – Khalil Shakir just taking names. I mean, to the point where Josh Allen even spoke on it. Josh Allen said he's he's looking great out there. In in lesser words, I don't have the full clip. Josh Allen basically said he's he's moving great, looking great, and I can't imagine that you could get much higher praise than from the guy that's throwing you the ball. So that is just incredibly, incredibly inspiring going into this season. Because not only do you have that young talent, but you also have veteran guys that I think are definitely going to be as as impactful. So just so much to be excited about, in particular, in regard to the wide receiver room. But I am also incredibly excited about what's going on in the running game. I told you last week I love what I saw in practice out of the running game. That seemed to be the same uh, mindset amongst those who were at the scrimmage on Friday. What I was told is the running game looked great uh, in three different parts. And that's what I told you guys. All three backs looked good, even four. Yeah, I mean, there, there was not really any visible, like, oh, God, moment when I was watching the Bills uh, practice their run plays. And on Friday night, once again, Zach Moss, Devin Singletary, and James Cook, all three seem to have had a great scrimmage. Now, I know Devin Singletary didn't play a whole lot, but when he did get an opportunity, uh, I read that he had took it about 30 yards or so on a handoff. I saw him bust one loose on Thursday. I saw James Cook bust one loose. I saw uh, Zach Moss break a couple off for at least 10 yards. So, look, we are not used to any explosiveness at all when it comes to running the ball in Buffalo unless Josh Allen takes off with it. And the fact that we're seeing explosiveness the way we are seeing it This offseason, now we don't know if that would necessarily translate into actual 11-on-11 real football, but I'm more uh, confident in it now than I was going into the offseason. That is for sure. We are seeing it on a consistent level now as each practice continues to go forward. Um, Thigh Doc brought it up a little bit earlier uh, about Von Miller. Doc was talking to me about Von Miller coming in, seeming to get more confident with the team, you know, feels like he's more of a part of the team now. And I've always thought that must be tough for these guys, right? I mean, I never had to move schools or, or teams or anything when I was a kid, but um, I could always, I could always try to imagine what, how tough that must be, right? To move a school, uh, you know, transfer schools, transfer colleges, transfer a job that you've been at for a very long time. You get very comfortable, right? You get, entwined into your environment it's tough to leave that and I know that Von Miller was only in LA for a year but 
you know, you went the distance there. You build a real camaraderie there when you are on a championship team. And of course, he comes off of a, um, you know, a career in Denver that was extraordinary. And it's got to be tough to bounce around. Uh, but when you do come into a team like you do with Buffalo on the defensive side of things, at least, especially up where Von Miller will be playing, that is a very young unit for Buffalo. Very young. And my big takeaway when the Bills first got Von Miller was not only do we finally get some much needed edge pressure that we haven't really had, but he is really going to bring a veteran presence to this young core of defensive linemen and edge and edge presence. And even at the linebacker position that was simply not in existence outside of Jerry Hughes, who we no longer have on the team, right? Von Miller is just a whole other level. That's a hall of famer. And I think that th that there is no coincidence that what we constantly keep hearing out of camp is how tremendous the young guys are playing on defense. How often have you heard in the last couple of weeks, how amazing Greg Rousseau looks, how amazing Ed Oliver looks, and how he could potentially have the best season of his career, bar none. How great Tremaine Edmonds has been looking at the linebacker position. I don't think this is there's any secret here at all as to what the reasoning is. Not only is it that they're getting you know older and more well-equipped into the defense, I think that helps, but I don't think that it's lost. It's, it's not lost on me that there has to be it has to be because of Von Miller to some degree. It absolutely has to be. I mean, you saw him just last week talking about, uh, what was it, the, ga the gasoline and, and gunpowder thing. I mean, he's taken these guys under his wing. And we've seen that uh, on display. When he's talking about Ed, Ed Oliver, who we continuously keep hearing out of camp here, is looking off the charts phenomenal. Um, oh, you know what? It, it wasn't even, uh, was it? It was Greg Rousseau, vice versa, really. What does it matter? We, we, I've seen, pic I think I got confused here because I saw pictures of Von Miller and um, and uh, Ed Oliver out on the field. And they seem to be like, it almost looks like they're good buddies. I was watching how, you know, Josh Allen and Stephon Diggs interact. And of course, we've seen them interact throughout the season last year. And you could just, you know, how when you see players interact, you can tell if they have a really good relationship. You can just tell by the way Josh Allen and, and uh, Stephon Diggs interact on the field. They got a good relationship. You get a lot of that vibe when you see Von Miller go around to these guys. And when I was seeing some footage of Von Miller and uh, Ed Oliver out on the field, it just looks like that. You know, not only is he in that role model type of a zone, but he's also in that, you know, buddy type zone. I, it just, it just feels right. And then when he was talking about Greg Rousseau, like we talked about last week, and like, I'm sure you've heard all throughout the week here, it's the new phrase out of Buffalo, gunpowder and gasoline. So you can't tell me that Von Miller hasn't had an immediate impact on these young guys and the potential success that they're set to have this coming season. We have heard nothing but great things out of these guys. So it just gets you that much more excited. And, uh, you know, as the camp has gone on, gone on here, the only things that have, I think have been of, of, of concern is the offensive line a bit. And I think that's been due to injury, right? We've seen a lot of shuffling there. We haven't really seen the starting unit out there in totality at all. I don't think we have once yet. We haven't. So that's obviously been a concern. And then the corner position, simply because it's young and inexperienced and Tredavious White's not back and healthy yet. But in almost every other area, it's been nothing but high praise to the nth degree.